in an eukaryotic cell the er membrane has a protein called as calnexin this calnexin is bounded to the er membrane this calnexin is a chaperon protein in the er lumen the unfolded protein has an n linked oligosaccharide having three glucose molecules this luminal unfolded protein with n linked oligosaccharide undergoes a process called glucose trimming and produces an incompletely folded protein this incompletely folded protein has an n terminal oligosaccharide having only one terminal glucose molecule this glucose trimming process is catalyzed by glucosidases the incompletely folded protein having one terminal glucose molecule in its n terminal oligosaccharide then binds to the calnexin as a result of this binding the incompletely folded protein having one terminal glucose molecule in its n terminal oligosaccharide is trapped in the er lumen in the next step a glucosidase removes the terminal glucose molecule in the n terminal oligosaccharide of incompletely folded protein due to this glucose removal the incompletely folded protein is released from the calnexin this released incompletely folded protein has an n linked oligosaccharide which has no glucose molecule in the next step if the protein is still in an incompletely folded state then the glucosyl transferase binds to it in presence of glucosyl transferase the incompletely folded protein and udp glucose reacts with each other and forms an incompletely folded protein with an added glucose molecule to its n linked oligosaccharide and udp this glucose addition is called as glycosylation due to this added glucose molecule in the n linked oligosaccharide of the incompletely folded protein the incompletely folded protein's affinity or attraction towards calnexin is renewed due to this affinity renewal the incompletely folded protein binds to the calnexin as a result of this binding the incompletely folded protein is retained in the er lumen in the next step a glucosidase removes the terminal glucose molecule in the n terminal oligosaccharide of the incompletely folded protein as a result the incompletely folded protein is released from the calnexin the further steps of this cycle are already said in this video this cycle repeats until the protein has folded completely it means the cycle stops when a completely folded or normally folded protein is formed the completely folded or normally folded protein then exits from the er now some important points another er chaperon erp57 collaborates with calnexin and calreticulin in retaining an incompletely folded protein in the er erp57 binds to the cysteines in the incompletely folded protein that have not yet formed disulfide bonds calreticulin is a chaperon protein both calnexin and calreticulin require ca2+ for their activities as calnexin and calreticulin binds to the oligosaccharides on the incompletely folded protein and retain them in the er they are called as carbohydrate binding proteins 
और लेक्टिन प्लीज लाइक सब्सक्राइब एंड शेयर